Hey everyone, and welcome back. We have another fun recap to get to. Um, Kim, why don't you uh, take it away? What did you enjoy most about this game? Uh, Miller looked good. <laughs> there you go, looking on the bright side. Yeah, spoiler alert, but the, yeah, this game uh, did see Miller in net to start to start things off. His first uh, first game of the season. Um, there also was a couple other line uh, changes. Uh, well, one due to Manson still out with the injury that he suffered from last game. Um, so Hockenpah is actually going to jump up on the second line, and Walensky is going to draw his first game uh, for the Ducks this season. Um, there was also a little bit of a shuffle in the top, top six. Uh, Heinen is going to drop down to the second line with Henrik and Silverberg, and we also see uh, Raquel playing up there with Getzloff and Milano. So that's what we saw going into the game, and... Uh, Game starts off, uh, you can probably already tell this wasn't a good game just by the way I'm talking about it, but let's just get into it. Another slow start for the Ducks. Trend. Um, <laughs> yeah, definitely a big trend. I feel like every game's been been a slow start. And yeah, I don't know if uh, if the slow start was uh, aided by the, the Shattenkirk penalty that comes up. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty weak, weak call i think by the rest but i mean it's definitely it a penalty yeah. definitely a penalty nonetheless but pr pretty soft and uh the ducks are going to kill off that one though but because of that and the slow start the wild are going to put 16 shots up on the board in the first period to the ducks six. six yeah yeah and uh, exactly then matt dumba actually you know the ducks actually get a power play you think oh yeah maybe the ducks will turn a lot but matt dumba throws it over the glass to get a delay game and the Wild short, score a shorthanded goal by Ryan Hartman. Bad, yeah. uh, bad turnover there by Shattenkirk. Uh, he gets Hartman gets a rebound and pops it in. So good save by Miller to start off with, but it was a little far out. But yeah, that's how that went. Yeah, that was pretty pretty bad. And then uh, there's a couple other. I think there's a penalty by Getzloff, which is another like I mean goalie interference. I mean pretty soft, but he, I mean did hit the goal the goalie. So. Probably is a penalty and just just kind of a dumb one to take. Something you don't need to be skating in that close to the to the ten D. And uh, that's on gonna do it second. for the yeah, <laughs> that's gonna do it for the first. On to the second. Um, yeah, another pretty bad much. Start. Yeah, another <laughs> another bad start. Uh, Bones, uh, former Duck, uh, Benino is gonna get a power play goal. Um, so now Ducks are down 2-0. Very familiar spot this season. But what do you know? Uh, Kim, you get, take it away. I got it. I got it. Dig Dig Nick is back with a goal <laughs> from Rowdy and Grat. You know, I need to lighten the mood a little bit, get a little, little energy, because that line has been like our best line this season, which is uh, saying a lot about this season so far. So, yeah. No doubt. I, I'd even throw in like the, the bottom six. The whole bottom six has been better than the top six this season. And I think the, the top six like accounts for like $30 million of our cap space, while the bottom six accounts for about $6 million. So, <laughs> uh, somebody's earning way above their paycheck, and uh, you Hello. know that those top six ought to be buying dinners for uh, the bottom guys, because uh, yeah, but it's just bad. <laughs> but, and then um, uh, fourth line does it again, but actually, it's our first defensive goal from Cam Fowler off the work that the fourth line does from Rowney and Big Dig Nick again. Uh, <laughs> he almost had. I was hoping he'd fight tonight to get the Gordy Held hat trick, but he had an assist and a and a goal tonight, so. Didn't yeah, happen, but it was a wish. <laughs> no, nothing wrong with a with a two point night from uh, Deloria. Yeah, I mean, yeah. And Rowney yeah. too. Rowney got two assists tonight, so Rowney definitely looked, take it. Rowney looked great tonight, blocking shots, um, being physical, playing some great defensive hockey. I mean, the whole line looked great. Like I said, that's definitely the Ducks' best line right now. And if that's the case for the whole entire season, oh man, it's going to be a long fifty six game season. You know, Fowler's shot was really good, but I would say that. The wild goalie was a little soft on both the Ducks goals. I thought maybe it was a sixth game of the season, actually, or ever in the NHL. So, yeah, so it was a little, yeah. yeah, I thought it was a weak shot, kind of slipped in just over. I mean, it was just over the pad, but between the so arm, yeah, you probably should have yeah. wanted to save that one. And then the first goal, it like slipped five hole after kind of a, a mishap. He like tried to glove it and it just kind of bounced in and out. And um, yeah, that's probably one he definitely wants back. Um, but yeah, the second period actually much better than the first. The shot, the Ducks are actually going to come out ahead on the shot total to uh, thirteen eleven. Um, so 
yeah, kind of a different thing that we've seen from the Ducks. Second period being their strongest, but I don't know if that's because the, the first and the third have been uh, bad. bad. So the second period so bad. Like, yeah. All right, um, on to the third. <laughs> on to the third. Uh, starting out slow again. Give up a oh, no. real quick goal to uh, Erickson. Great Eck. passing play. But yeah, it's a great play by the Wild. Great passing play from uh, Greenway and Kakrazov. And uh, yeah, they take up, take up the lead 3-2. And then uh, they definitely sat back a little bit and then just... I mean, Ducks aren't going to score goals, so, I mean, why <laughs> why try hard? Um, but, I mean, there was there were some – don't want to blame the officials again, but there is, def, there is a trip, there is a hold, there is a ton of, call, yeah. ton of calls that just did not get called. Interference. You know, that third yeah, period. I don't want to say the refs, but the G- Ducks played bad, so they didn't deserve to win this game at all. But it didn't help that yeah. they didn't get some calls that they probably should have got. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to complain too much about not getting power plays when you let in shorthanded goals yeah, so on one of the two power plays. Again. So it could have been a good thing anyway. That, that um, does it pretty much. <laughs> that does it. I mean, the Ducks did look did create some chances with the empty attacker with about two minutes and 30 seconds left, but uh, couldn't couldn't get the equalizer, and the Ducks are going to drop this one 3-2, to two, drop the 1-3 and three on the season. Or, sorry, uh, 1, was it 1-2-1 one, and one on the season, I should say. There you go. Yeah. Um, and yeah, now we're going to look to the next one. That's going to be against uh, Friday versus the Colorado Avalanche. So, uh, the, the Tough test. I already played the Knights, probably a good team, but I think Avalanche, probably one of the best They're teams in the slow. league. Can't start Don't out start, slow because no. uh, this Don't is one of the us. fastest teams in the league. They'll walk all over us. And uh, Gibby's probably going to be back in the net. Um, yeah, so, I guess the yeah, night off, it was a planned night off for him, they said in the broadcast. So, yeah. Uh, Stol- Stolar's birthday boy actually backed up Miller tonight, so it was nice to get, get some, some rest, I guess, early. Mm-hmm. To come back, back and be strong again, hopefully. Yeah. Um, I came. Any other thoughts from the from the game before we uh we head out? Shattenkirk did not look good. Yeah, I I could say the first two penalties on him were soft, but they were penalties, and then the third one was I thought was bad, but I guess he was trying to stop a breakaway. So, and then a bad turnover that led to the goal for the Wild, but yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a rough night, and not even just defensively, but I mean, I feel like every shot he took was about three feet Everyone's, yeah. wide Everyone's of the net, shot. over the top of the net. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, Shannon Kirk's coming in here, offense, defenseman. He, this is he's sure. supposed to hit the net, <laughs> like <laughs> bottom six missing, missing, the, missing the net. Not too aggravating, but I Good mean, point. <laughs> come on, like uh, maybe, maybe he's just I don't know too much about his past season. Maybe he's just historically off, gets off to a to a bad start. So hopefully. I mean, he can turn it around, but, I mean, the bar is very, very low. Um, and, I, yeah, I think think that's it. I mean, the Ducks just need to they just need to play better to get some offense. I mean, it's pretty hard to I – I just don't see how Z- Zagris does not make this team the way they're playing right so now. We, yeah, he played in the goals game, got an assist. He looked got, like, way, way, way too good. Um, way too good in that game, and this Ducks oh, team needs some but... life. Um <laughs> Yeah, this Ducks team needs some life, and I, maybe just injecting him into the lineup, maybe we'll, maybe, we'll get that. Yeah. So um, that's something I'd like to see, but who knows? Uh, we'll see what the, the GM and Eakins um, wants to see. But um, until next time, everybody, um, peace out.